Hi there, my name's Amy. This is a new thing for my channel doing oracle and tarot reviews. So first off is the Ocean Dreams A Mystic Oracle by Danielle Noel. This is her first solo endeavor for an oracle deck. You may also know her from her Star Child Tarot and Moon Child Tarot and Starseed Oracle deck with um, Rebecca. So anyway, this one, as you can see, it did get a little dinged in shipping. It did come all the way from Canada. It cost me about $53 plus shipping. It has a lovely magnetic box lid. And it's a good sturdy box, it seems like. I've seen these box, box decks before. Eternal Beloved, bless your oceanic heart. It's just gorgeous. And then, of course, here, I'm going to set this book aside. We'll go through it in a minute. And you can see the cards inside. I'm going to pop them out so we can take a look at the box. It says, I am transformative. I am expansive. I am infinite. I am deep. I am intuitive. I am creative. I am a vessel of magic. And you can kind of see that gold, how it reflects the sun here. I am outside in case you didn't notice that. I'm going to set the box aside and I'm going to turn these cards over. Just so you know, the card stock is nice and thick. It's a matte finish. You see the sun is not reflecting off of that. And they're kind of a, a buttery feeling. The decks themselves has a nice aqua color and it sparkles a little bit in the sunlight. I don't know how much that's showing up on camera. We'll take a look. This first card here is just an introduction of the deck to you and it's a message from the author of the deck. I'm guessing these card backs are probably images that are in the deck later on. And then this one is an incantation to Mother Ocean. And I'll let you can pause the video to read that further if you need more time. And here's the backs of the cards. And it looks rather like a face in the sand. And it looks like the sun kind of shining down towards the face. Very magical and ethereal. Very much a uh, Hathor's kind of feel, if you remember that from other decks. All right. So we're going to look at these cards. The Akashic Waters, Ancient Emissaries, I love the whales there, that's really cool, Astral Waters, Atlantean Dream, so here's our touch with Atlantis, Beyond the Veil, it's a very pretty place, I wish I could go there, feels like I should go swimming in that water, Celestial Waters, Cleansing waters. I like how they're using people that are not just tall and skinny, having more body autonomy here. Clear waters. Convergence. I think if we saw that here, we'd be worried about what was happening. Beautiful though. I'm not sure if that's part of the image or if that's a glitch right there. Deep Mysteries, Divine Spiral, Dream Gate, that's really pretty, Earth Waters, that's beautiful, and you can see kind of, it looks like Mary up there possibly, gives it a little bit of a Christian overtone. I love those waterfalls, those are beautiful. Emergence. Familiar hearts, aren't they cute? Beluga whales, I believe. Healing waters. Heart libations. Kind of drinking in love or something, huh? That kind of reminds me of Venus in the shell. We've 
got diversity, which is very important to a lot of people, including myself. Inner alchemy. Inner compass. Isn't that polar bear adorable? Inner sanctum. Inner strength. Lemurian waters. Here's the other side of the world with Lemuria now. And those are orchids, I believe. A beautiful and then the lotus. Living library. Luminous path. Lunar waters. That's very cool. Magnetic heart. Those look like manta rays, possibly. Melusina, Melusina. I'll have to look that one up. I'm not uh, familiar with that. A mermaid. Mother Ocean. That looks like a mama cow whale with her calf. A whale shark. I love whale sharks. Move with ease. Nectar of life. No regrets. That's pretty. Nurture yourself. Ocean cradle. These cards are so soft and gentle feeling. Oceanic beloved. Open channel. Pearls of Wisdom, Protection, Recalibration. I wonder if that's a sun or if that's supposed to be a star. It's a really close star. Regeneration. Restful pause. That's a hot tub I'd like to be in. Rite of passage. Sacred chalice. Sacred vow. That's really cool. Self love. Shadow Waters, Shapeshifter, that's got an octopus in it, that's cool. Shifting Fear, Sovereignty, Storm, that's a neat storm, it looks almost like a tornado or a hurricane. Temple of Dreams, Temple of Light, Temple of the Sea, that's the cover of the box, that's so pretty. Sorry, there we go. The Abyss, that reminds me of the movie The Abyss. The Calling. The Source, The Unveiling, Total Bliss. I don't know about you, but when I go to the beach, it's pretty blissful for me, too. Transcendence, Unconditional Love, Voyage. Again, you've got the Hathor symbols in here, which is a very divine feminine image. Water Priestess. 
Waves of Change. A lot of these cards have the doorways in them. Whispers of Time. Okay, so that is all of the cards. I'm going to set those over here now. All right, here we have the book. As you can see, it has that gold lettering on it as well. And let's see what we have in here. Oops. Bless your oceanic heart. Okay, we do have an index here, table of contents. It doesn't break down the cards individually, which is fine. Um, they're alphabetical. And it has a lot of interesting things. Not only does it have the oracle spreads, but it also has some ritual work in here. And then the card messages, which are all the individual meanings, and then about the author and other things that she's made, in case you didn't know what she made. Oh, here we go. We do have a table of contents for all the cards. I like how it's all in color, too. That's very nice. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Rumi. The introduction. I'm not going to read through all of that, but basically it's how she came to be writing this oracle deck. Why are so many of us called to the sea? How to use this deck. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depths and a great fear of shallow living. Anais Nin. Okay, connecting to the ocean, basically. Reading the transmissions. And then these are questions you can ask yourself. Again, if you want to see those, you can pause the video. So obviously you can pull one card and three card, the most common. But it has witness the marvel of your consciousness. Oracle spreads, a whole section on that. Inner Waters, Soul Spiral, Portal, Dream, and then we get into the ritual work, or it talks about there's questions to go on their journey, creating an altar, and casting a circle, closing your circle, clearing rituals, lunar rituals, there's a lot of stuff going on star water ritual and then we get into the oracle messages and we'll just take a look here I've got a couple, few cards I laid out over here I have earth waters sacred vow and temple of the sea they were cards that stood out to me and I really enjoyed them so I will look up earth waters really quick and we'll take a look at that card it says spiritual grounding, energetic vortices, miraculous waters, and stargates. I am grounded, I am whole, I connect with the medicine of the earth to clear and charge my energy. So as you can see, I'm not going to read through every single thing on this, but it's a very interesting um, message for sure. Uh, let's take a look at Sacred Vow. It's another one I pulled out. There we go. Every choice counts, global transmissions, collective consciousness, microcosm, macrocosm. I am connected to this world. I am able to walk in awareness, devotion, and love. I give thanks to the ocean and creatures of the earth. And then Temple of the Sea. Full circle, dreams fulfilled, reaching the impossible, integration. I have arrived within. And one thing you'll notice is that transmission illumination. They have a little thing with a question right here in the middle. It kind of gets you thinking along the lines of the card itself and help you with your messages. All right, and then we'll go to the back of the book here. Obviously, she thanks everyone who helped her make this, and this is about the author here, and then about the art, and her website, daniellenoel.com. 
And then in the back here, it shows her tarot decks and oracle decks that she's had a part of. Journals, books, and there. That's a beautiful back too on that book. There we go. <laughs> So there you have it. That is my review. I really like this deck as a whole. I didn't expect to not like it. I have the Star Child Tarot and I really just adore it. This is a great complement to that. In fact, if you wanted to read them together, I don't see why it wouldn't work really well. And if you have any of uh, Rebecca Campbell's decks, it would fit with their hers as well. So. Overall, I really, really like this deck. I have small hands. The only thing I, I have a hard time with is shuffling these decks. But I just do it sideways and I have no problem at all. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>